What's going on everyone? Today we're checking out the new Dot Pod Max coming from Dot Mod. Let's crack open the box and let's see what you get. So you're going to get the Dot Pod Max. They're going to include two pods. One is going to be a sealed pod and then the one that's pre-installed is going to be a pod with a replaceable coil head which they will give you one coil head, one drip tip. You got a little short micro USB or should I say USB-C charge cable some extra O-rings, and of course, a user manual. The Dot Pod Max will come in seven different color options, and I'm sorry I don't have a size for you guys, but my battery on my calipers uh, died on me, so no sizing on this one. At the top, this is a standard 510 drip tip, so you can use any 510 drip tip with this, and the pods kind of snap and magnetize into place. Each pod holds up to five ml of liquid, and once again, you're gonna get two this one is sealed, meaning the coil is sealed inside. So once the coil goes bad, you're going to toss this out. And then we have the replaceable coil head, as you can see there. So when the coil goes bad, this one, you can actually pull the coil head out. It works with the dot coils and simply just pop it in. Pretty simple. The coil head is a 0.3 dot coil rated 25 to 40 watts. And the sealed pod, the dot pod max tank, this one is going to be a 0.6, and this one is rated 20 to 24 watts. The fill method is a top fill. Pretty easy. All you do is just slide this door open. It doesn't have any kind of locking mechanism on the door. It just simply slides open. And then all you're going to do is just grab your bottle of liquid. And the drip tip kind of gets in the way, kind of doesn't. Like the bottle still fits down inside of there. So I haven't had an issue with that. And five mils of liquid, this thing holds a ton of liquid for a pod system. And once you fill it up and you get a little liquid on the door, the door slides open super easily. So you just got to be careful that if you have this in your pocket or something like that, that this door doesn't end up sliding open and then this thing ends up flooding. And it only goes in one way. So you got your coil head, just line up your coil head with the contacts right there. It'll slide, click into place and you could fill this without having to remove it which is nice but once again just be a little easy with the door right here now both the sealed pod and the non-sealed pods will have adjustable airflow control you'll see this little dial right here and all you're going to do is just take your finger and you'll have to adjust the airflow on the pod before you install it obviously and in my opinion it's going to be more of a wide open loose mouth to lung kind of restricted direct lung. It actually has quite a bit of airflow. Probably not that ideal for tight MTL. If for some reason you want to get this thing super tight with the airflow, you'll notice the airflow comes in right here. And if you hold it like this and your finger is blocking this or over it, it's going to completely shut off the airflow and make it extremely tight. Now it is auto draw and also button draw with the option to disable the button. To power this on will be five clicks, one, two, three, four, five. And you'll see that we have a nice little display right there. That's gonna give you your resistance, puff counter, battery indicator, and wattage. This goes all the way up to 60 watts. Now keep in mind, it does have smart mode. So for instance, I have the 0.3 coil in here at the moment. So if I wanna adjust the wattage, one, two, three on the button, I can't adjust this over 40 watts because the recommended wattage for this coil is 25 to 40. So that's where the smart mode kicks in and it doesn't allow you to set the wattage too high so that way you end up burning the coil. So you'll see it around Robin back down to five watts. I'm assuming if you had a lower resistance coil, you could take full advantage of the 60 watts off this device. A few other features, once again, to lock the button, one, two, three, four, and that will pretty much lock the button. Now it becomes a straight auto draw device. One, two, three, four will obviously unlock it. And if you want to power it down, it will be five clicks. One, two, three, four, five. It's a very simple device. Doesn't have any features or menu to it. It's just straight wattage mode. So just keep that in mind. Now the battery they're using on the inside is a 2000 milliamp hour battery. And we do have a USB-C charge port located right there with an indicator light. And that's pretty much it. Nice, simple, straightforward pod system coming from DotMod, the new DotPod Max. Let's jump back up and talk about it.
All right, so we got the Dot Pod Max. Sorry for the delay in the review, but the channel got deleted. I got videos removed, and I had to go back and forth, back and forth. Finally got the channel back, so now we're good to go. Got this bad boy loaded up. We're doing direct lung, restricted direct lung. Once again, it has a lot of airflow to it. If you're looking for something like for a tight MTL, this may not be it unless you want to put your finger over that airflow right there and you can completely block off that airflow. But I've been using it as a restricted direct lung device and it's been vaping beautifully. Let's have a quick vape. Those dot coils are super delicious. I like that they're using a 510 drip tip. I love the drip tip they include. The fill method is real easy. The bottle kind of goes in on an angle, which is fine. You just got to be careful with the door because the door doesn't have any kind of like click or lock to it. And once you get juice on the inside of the door, it does open up fairly easy. So even though I haven't had any issues myself, if you got this thing bouncing around in a bag or maybe in your pocket, the chances of that door kind of slightly cracking open, getting air inside of there and flooding this thing out or whatnot uh, is a possibility. But other than that, I mean, I love the fill method. I love the fact they have the sealed pods and the replaceable coil head pods. So, and they give you one of each so the user can choose what they prefer. And it's a very simple device. It doesn't have any menu modes or anything like that. USB-C charge port, nice size battery, and it's got that dot mod kind of look and feel to it. Feels and looks like a high quality device. And that's pretty much it guys for the Dot Pod Max. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next one. Make sure you guys build safe, and as always, vape on.